pretties it's Angela here and today's video is going to be the unboxing of the best bead box XL from Potomac beads it's a subscription box um, that I have been subscribed to for several months now and um, I really enjoy it they have two versions of their subscription subscription box there is the best bead box and then there is the best bead box XL the difference between the two is the best bead box has one pattern with all the beads that you need to complete that pattern and the XL version is two patterns where they give you all of the beads to complete both of these patterns and then they also give you a third bonus pattern and for this pattern you don't get the materials that you need to complete it but um, Potomac's website is very easy to access and you can get the beads that you need if you may not already have them in your stash. You may also have received some of the beads in previous months because they do also, and besides all of the beads that you need for the patterns that are included, they also give you beads for your stash. Now, I am subscribed to the XL version and so this list here for your beads for your stash is, you know, much larger than the bead box uh, the regular best bead box so if you're not familiar with the subscri uh, subscription I will link their website below and you can check it out but I believe the XL version is roughly around about $40 a month which I don't feel is bad at all because you get like I said you get your three patterns and two of those patterns have all the bees so we're gonna go through um, the I'm sorry this is for January 2021 and it's sunset sunrise is the theme for this month's box so I'm gonna go ahead and put that right here for now and so we have it looks like we have a um, bracelet pattern and we have an earring pattern that we are going to get everything we need to make these two beautiful projects okay and then our bonus pattern is going to be a spiral step stitch bracelet so that's a bracelet so it, I like that it also oops, sorry guys I mean to hit the camera it also tells you what you will need to make this pattern which you know what it's only really Two things that's awesome so you really probably already have these supplies in your stash six millimeter bugle beads and some 11 -0 seed beads you need a toggle thread and a needle that's it to make that bracelet so that was the bonus pattern for this month I'm gonna move this off to the side and we're gonna go through the list and I'll show you what we have for each pattern now let's see I have to figure this out because I have not pre-opened this and looked at any of this. I am looking at it with y'all for the first time. So, okay, this looks like the bag that's going to go with this one. Okay, so for this bracelet, we are going to need, and I'll show you what colors I got for mine. It says we're going to need one cup button. And mine is in a white lila gold luster. There's a product number if you want to go to their website, PotomacBees.com, to look it up. So really pretty. Got a cup button. I'm going to need one of those. And also, you'll you'll notice that, um, like, for some of these, you only need a few beads. And so they give you plenty enough to definitely complete the pattern, plus have some leftover. Okay, so my crystal, okay. Oh, I got a really pretty... I love... I'm loving this color palette. Um, I don't know if everybody else got the same kind of color that I'm getting, but mine are different than the picture. And I'm really loving this because I love the fact that I have this um, really pretty... No, it is following the same. Close to. Some of, the, some of the beads may be a little bit different than what's in the picture. But anyway, we need a Potomac Crystal Cushion Cut, 14 millimeters, and there's one piece of this one. Love that really pretty crystal. And then we need uh, tubelet beads, and we only need 30, so you definitely have 30 tubelet beads in this little packet. Mine came in a champagne color. Again, there's the product code. Then we are going to need gemstone round beads in 4 millimeter size. 
Now, if you don't, and, and I have done that with some of my patterns. If you don't like some of the colors, you can always, you know, I'm sure you have some 15 O's and 11 O's beads in your stash. And I have done that at times. These are really nice Labradorite round gemstone beads in four millimeter size. And for these, you only need 20 pieces. So you definitely have more than 20 pieces. So you have some extras to do something else with. Maybe make a pair of earrings or have some extras in your stash for, some, for something to use later. But that is the Labradorite. And then we're going to need check round beads in 3 millimeter, approximately 38 pieces. Mine are in an ancient, uh, ancient gold. So those are really pretty, really small, <laughs> little beads. All right, and then we're going to need two different seed beads. We need an 11 -0 and a 15 -0. and we only need for this pattern we only need one gram of 15s and one gram of 11 of 11s so you have a lot left over so um which is always nice again to have those extra seed beads so these are the colors um my 11 o's came in a sparkle topaz and my 15 O's came in a sparkle beige lined crystal. Really pretty. I'm loving this color palette. I don't think I'll change anything out. I think I'll use it just like it is. So that's all the beads we need to complete this bracelet pattern. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put it all back in here. And I love that they put everything in one um, big bag so that you know what beads go with the pattern. So everything I need is in this little bag to complete this pattern. So that was pattern number one. Then we get these Midas earring, and um, who was the designer? Anna is the designer of the bracelet for this month, and Allie is the designer of the earrings. They have phenomenal videos as well. I mean, the written instructions are fantastic, but some people, you know, follow video better. Some people follow written better. And so I love the option. That, I like that you have the option to either follow the written or follow the video. And I do both because sometimes I find, you know, it depends on who's teaching it. Sometimes it's a little bit clearer as uh, on the video than it is in the written. And sometimes the written helps and it's an easy enough pattern that I don't need to watch the video. So it just really all depends on the pattern and kind of who's teaching it, I guess. But, um, okay, so for this, our materials list are check faceted round in 4 millimeter, And let's see... I have them in an amethyst color. So they are a purple amethyst color. There's a product code, and these are four millimeter rounds. And we only need 16 pieces, so you definitely have lots left over. The next thing we need are going to be rondelles. Okay, so my color that I got for the Potomac Crystal rondelles in one and a half by two millimeters. These are T90. Oh my goodness gracious, they're so tiny. Um, seafoam green. I got them in a seafoam green and they are so tiny. Itty bitty little rondelles. So that's those. Then we needed uh, check drop beads. And guys, we only need two of these. So look how many we got left. These, that's a really generous amount. And these are a Vega Luster. Really, really pretty purple with that like copper almost like a copper luster over them those are beautiful so these are nine by six millimeter we only need two out of this bag for the pattern then we need um two different color a uh, two different size i should say miyuki seed bees they gave us an 11 and a 15 and you only need two grams of each so my 11 0 i got silver lined lichen and it's like a green and so I'm seeing greens and, and purples. The pattern shows like a blue color, but mine is more like a soft green. And I'm liking the color combination really pretty with that um, mauve lavender kind of color. Um, so then my 15 O's are Cinnamon Gold Luster. And I have not watched anybody else's unboxing yet. Um, this is the first XL, you know, that I've seen. 
is mine that I just I'm opening now. So I'm really surprised at everything, but I want to go and see because I do like to see if people have different color combinations. Um, and then so we got a set of ear wires, a pair of ear wires, and they gave you the little backings on them too, the little rubber stoppers for that. So that's really nice. Oh, and two wire guardians. So I guess we're gonna need some wire. Yeah, two two wire guards. So that is also included in that little bag. So very nice, and I'm really happy with the colors in both of my patterns this month. I don't think I'll switch out any of the seed beads, because I have, like I said, in the past I have switched out a couple of colors of seeds, because I was like, eh, you know, not everybody has the same color palette taste, I guess, <laughs> but I'm liking these a lot. So I'm really, really happy with the ones that I got for these two patterns this month. Okay, so now I'm going to turn this card over, and we're going to go into the beads for your stash. So the first thing I see on the list is a really nice, nice addition. I think last month we got the calibers, which was really cool. This month we got a nice little polishing cloth, so it's really nice to uh, polish up your metals. All right, the next thing we have is five grams of Pie Duo beads. All right, let me find those so I can see what color. Um, that's not bad. Where are they? Oh, here they are. Oh, and these match that luster. Ooh, these are really pretty. This is the Vega luster. Yep. The white Layla, uh, white Lila Vega luster. So that's that beautiful purple again, but that almost like that coppery kind of color luster on top. Oh, and you know what? We only needed two of these, so I can definitely use those together and make something else. Oh, that's awesome. Awesome, awesome. I'm really happy to see those. So we got five grams of those Pie Duos. And I think a couple of uh, subscription boxes back, we got the, when they first introduced them, we got them in the black. So even that black with this purple would be a really pretty combination to make something too. So very excited to see those. Seven grams of Check Faceted Rondelles. Okay, let's see what color I got in those. Let's see. Are this it them? No. <laughs> Where are my rondelles? They are four by seven millimeters, so they should be kind of small. Let's see. All right, guys, give me a second. I'm looking. I'm looking. Here they are. Wait, is that them? Four by seven? Hmm, gotta be. All right, these are really pretty. Opal. Jewel tone. They got blues and purples. Oh, these are really pretty. I hope you can see those through the bag. Let me, I'm going to go ahead and cut these open because I want y'all to see these. I know they do it for cost efficiency, but um, I do like the little Ziploc baggies <laughs> because I feel like I don't want to lose them. But um, I'll put them back in after this video. But look at these. How really. Oh, these are pretty. Those are beautiful. Loving those. I love that color. It's almost like a purpley. Yeah, it's definitely purple. I was going to say brown, but it's really not brown. It's more like a purple and a blue and clear. Oh, these are beautiful. Those are really, really pretty. So I'm going to have to put those in a little baggie so they don't get lost. All right. And then we have 25 Potomac Crystal Disco Ball in 8 millimeter, And I definitely saw those. Yes, these are disco balls, and I'm honoring a purple iris. These are beautiful. And I live here in Louisiana, and we have Mardi Gras. So these, I don't know why, but they really reminded me of Mardi Gras when I saw the color just now. Because of those purples and golds. And uh, sadly, with COVID this year, we won't have Mardi Gras, but that's okay. You know, we'll celebrate it our own way. But this is really pretty. It's got like the golds and the purples and they're really, really faceted, like multi-faceted, like disco balls. Those are super pretty. I love those. And that purple iris. 25 pieces of those. Definitely enough to do a nice bracelet. Then we have a three Potomac Crystal Snowflakes. And these are 14 millimeter. Really pretty. Let me take them out. They are white. I'm monitoring the crystal. Snowflakes. Very pretty. The top, the uh, hole is in the top here. 
So these would make really nice um, drops for earrings. Those are really pretty. All right, so we got three of those. Then we have one resin cabochon. And I like getting their cabochons too. In 18 millimeters. Oh my goodness. Midnight Black Pearl. This is beautiful. 18 millimeters. I am loving this. I don't know if everybody's just going to look like this. But that is insanely beautiful. <laughs> Love that. That's really, really pretty. It almost looks like the sky with like clouds. That's really pretty. I love that. Um, let's see. Then we have nine grams of silky beads, which should be these. Mine are in a copper. And the silky beads have almost like a little bump on the top of one on the one side. So there is like a front and a back. The back is flat and then it has like a little raised bump in the middle on the front of the bead. And so mine are in that copper color. Really pretty color. Oh, don't get lost, little Rondell. <laughs> All right, then we have 10 check leaf drops, which are these here. And mine are in a lilac swirl. These are pretty. They are 7 by 12 millimeters. Oh, those are really nice. Like a light lavender color, and it's got some striping in them. And the whole run at the top, at the top here, trying to see if you can see that so it runs across this way so that's pretty we got 10 of those then we have five grams of cup flowers which are these check flower cups mine are in a metallic mix so there's like gold and bronze and well, gold and copper and really pretty metal mixes and the little bell flowers. Those are nice to have, like those. Then we have nine grams of check glass round beads in an eight millimeter size. Check glass rounds. And again, mine are in, they're calling it a purple iris gold. So you can see those purples and greens and golds. Really pretty. Those are in an eight millimeter size round. Then we have on the list four grams of Toho seed beads and eight o. And these are the eight o's. I don't have a lot of eight o's in my stash, so I'm really kind of glad to have these. And mine are in a frosted oxblood, so it's a really dark, like a burgundy maroon color. Really, really dark. Very pretty. Nice to have those. And there's four grams in that little bag. Okay. And then we have 25 Potomac Crystal Helix beads in 6 millimeter. That is going to be these. Oh, I think I just ordered some, some other Helix beads um, from Beadbox Bargains. But, oh, these are pretty. Yes, and you know what? I think I did order this color, so it's going to be really nice that I have some extra ones. I don't remember if I got 6 millimeter, if they were 6 millimeter or not. But this is the Blue Zircon AB. Look how beautiful those are. And they're not, they're like, um, they're a, hex, a helix cut. Helix cut. So they're not round, not square, they're a helix. Very pretty. Love, love that blue zircoin AB color. So let me get these boop, back in the little baggie. Wouldn't be a video if I don't drop something. <laughs> All right, and then we have one Potomac Crystal Moon. Crystal Moon. Oh, and mine is in a Vitrell Light. A light Vitrell. Beautiful. What's how? It doesn't say millimeter size on this, I guess, because it's moon shaped. But that is beautiful. The hole is in the top here, in the very top. That is really pretty. It's picking up some really light blue, some yellow, some purple. That's beautiful. Nice finish on the back. It's finished with the silver. So that's how you, that's why you get that play of color off that backing. Very pretty. All right, and then we have two more items on the list. We have four grams of check glass cathedral beads in four millimeter. That's these. And mine doesn't say a color. It looks like it looks 
like an amethyst, kind of an amethyst color. It's a purpley color. And they are the cathedral beads, so they have like a little bit of a silverish finish on the top and the bottom of the bead. So that's those. And then the last thing are called Zoli Duo beads. And there's eight grams. And they look like little paisleys. Um, five by eight millimeter. And mine are in, it's called periwinkle. Why is it periwinkle? It looks silver. I guess the periwinkle is on one side and the silver coating on, on the back. But mine is called Periwinkle. Yeah, I can see it. I can see it. It's hard to see on camera. But it is like a really pale blue Periwinkle color on the front side. And then that back side is silver. So those are the Zoli Duo beads. And they look like little paisleys. So super cute. So as you can see, there's a lot, a lot of beads in this little box. And you, like I said, with the three patterns you get, um, I think it's an incredible value. It makes me think outside the box on um, bead weaving projects and lets me try something new that I've never tried before. It lets me work with beads that I've never seen or tried before. Um, Potomac is always coming out with new shapes and, and beads and it's really fantastic. So, um, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please click on subscribe and click on the notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video to YouTube. Um, I do do other subscription boxes, unboxings, video making, uh, jewelry making videos, and also jewelry haul videos. So, if you'd like to see anything like that, please, like I said, click on subscribe and notifications. And until the next video, guys, bye.